When we compare, when you come to the lesson after you skip the sleep, after some kinds of activities, so you're coming, you come to the lesson and your mind still wandering in your previous activity, or is it better to come to the lesson after you had some sleep, meaning you, you get up and you sort of have this new reboot or restart? Uh, I think that you need to have a restart. But when I get up, I also don't come empty to the lesson. And for that, I read. I read some kind of excerpts from Bala Sulam or Rabash. I read some psalms, just a little bit. All that can take 15 minutes, but it should be in place. Something general to lift yourself from animal state when you get up to the level when you are tuned into uh, a right a general vibe wave you have to do that I come there are 300 men sitting in front of me and maybe uh, uh, hundreds of thousands throughout all of our channels I feel myself obligated, and in the same way each of my students must feel themselves obligated because he's in the same process and not as passive participant, he is uh, he's active, apparent participant, meaning uh, the success depends on his participation, the success of the result of the success of the entire world CLI world group of this world spiritual core it's just it's just that there are different time zones and in some places a person cannot get up and wake up that's understood I get that but what can you do because it seems that uh, after sleep when a person wakes up he seems to be more clear and he doesn't have these no anyways I'll say that I'll, s I'll tell you that there is a big difference to be in real time and not re in real time, no matter how you twist it. Many times I wanted to convince people, it's okay, whenever is more convenient for you in a different time. Why? Because it's problematic. For instance, for Americans in New York, the lesson falls to the evening time, right? So it turns that they can't get out to disseminate. So let them listen to the lesson, not in the evening, but let them get out to the streets and disseminate. And to listen, uh, listen to the lesson in the morning. But this is extreme case, when otherwise it's impo impossible to advance, because without dissemination we will not be able to advance. But in all other cases, only if, it's, if it is possible. Nevertheless, it is preferable to listen uh, to the lesson in real time. So the same New York, for instance, they come after work, their mind is still at work related, uh, work related issues, they come to the lesson, yes, it's 8 p.m. their time. So for them, practically speaking, what to do? They haven't slept a yet. I understand you perfectly well, even when I'm in New York giving lessons at 8 p.m. and my head is not functioning properly, properly I'm also not that... Uh, but what can you do? Well, uh, only if there are serious dissemination activities, then you need to act differently. And if you don't have those activities, then uh, then you need to be real time on the lesson. No, 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 I'm for real time, but what I have in mind is where, whether a person needs uh, needs to sleep prior to the lesson. Def definitely. No, 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 not to sleep, not, I don't know, but in, uh, if there is such possibility. But to reboot is necessary, to read something, to talk about something, something that is close to the level at which you should be during the lesson, to be lifted up a little bit. And now you and I, I have to get ready for the lesson.